New year beginning and usually we set new goals for the new year. So what about the guitar? Do you have some plans? Do you have goals to reach on the guitar and do you know how to reach them? Stay with me, we're gonna see some study plan that you can apply for you to improve on the guitar this year. Hey guys, I'm Everton Zakin, and usually at the end of the year or beginning of the new year, we want to reach some goals, we want that the year will be better than the previous one. Part of the process for us to reach our goals is to plan. We need to have a clear plan, a step at a time, and things that are reachable. So let's see how can we improve on the guitar and a few things for you to reach our goal. First thing, usually we start with a goal. So a good way for you to keep in mind and to focus to reach your goal is to tell to other people or you can make it public, all right? For example, I wanna lose weight this year, so what I did was on Instagram, I had stories on Instagram, I just told people that I wanna lose weight. That's one of my goals for this year, and I'm telling here again, so that's one of my commitments. So if you make it public, it's easier. So you can tell to a friend, to your family, you can even put in the comments, what do you wanna reach on the guitar? So this video, I will try to think a little bit more widely because it's I don't know exactly where you are at, at the guitar the goal is that you can have some ideas and you can think about your level of things that you know and then you can create your study plan so we need to have a study plan to improve on the guitar the goal that you want to reach can be very simple if you're a beginner it can be a song that you, for example if you're just playing songs with chords how you can play a song with a bar so learn a song with a bar chord or then you can learn, if you're learning bar chords, learn a song that has two or three bar chords. If you already know the chords, it's easy these songs. You can learn a song that has a little solo, okay? A easy solo. Or what you can do as well is start to learn the scales. This is gonna help you to keep your technique, okay? You improve your technique. There are things that you can do for you to reach the next step. So first thing, think about your goal, okay? You can even stop the video. And it's good that you have a pen and paper. And if you write your goals as well, it's a pretty good way for you to reach your goals. It makes you to have this commitment with your goal. And if you have in a place that you're looking at your goal, you're always remembering that you have that goal to reach. And this is keep you on focus, keep you on track. Now that you have just simple one goal, let's think about how the steps you need to reach this goal. The second thing for you to reach your goal, now you need the daily practice. And when I talk about daily practice, it's not like two or three hours. It's good if you can do that, but if you don't have enough time to practice it every day for a long period of time, you can just shorten and try to play every day five, ten minutes. Just at least play the guitar, get the guitar. Instead of you get like once a week and then we spend like two or three hours with the guitar, that's not the best approach. Every day, five minutes, it's more effective than practicing one day. We need this repetition for us to improve our technique, for our muscles and also to observe the things that we're learning. All right, so we have one goal, easy, right? Depending on your life, we can put more goals, but let's stick to one goal and daily practice five minutes, okay? That's a good start. One step at a time, we don't need to rush. You can go at your own pace. Don't worry about to make things fast. The most important thing is that at the end of this year, you can look back and that you're improved and you're a better guitar player, better musician. All right, now let's think about a study plan that you can use to improve on the guitar. First, we have this creative and the technical skills. We need to work both ways, right? According to your level and things that you do, that's when you give the next step, okay? So if you're a beginner for your technical skills, I really like to start, even on my lessons, or well, with my students, what I do is start with the technical skills first. Why? Because we need to have our fingers moving. We need to be comfortable to play things that we want to do. If you want to learn a solo from ACDC, you need to have the technique to play that solo. If you want to learn a solo from Jump Petrucci very fast, you also need the technique. If you want to improvise, we need to develop the technique. And this way, how we develop that? Have our fingers moving on the fretboard. So if you're a beginner, depending on your level, this simple exercise, one, two, three, four, motor skills, it's pretty good. If, now, if you are a beginner, but you know this exercise, you're starting to get more comfortable with this, just simple scales, you can start with the pentatonic. Scales is pretty good as well for you to develop the technique, not only for improvisation, solos, but we're gonna use this for technique as well. Then, major scale. You know, 
just going up and down. This is usually when I talk about improvisation, I tell people, don't go the up and down the scale, learn vocabulary, but the scales at the beginning of your practice for you to learn the patterns in different keys, to get your fingers moving, for you to improve your technique, is pretty good. If you know some scales like pentatonic or major scale, then it's time that you can practice some exercise and put some goals as well, so you set some goals. For example, melodic patterns. Melodic patterns is pretty good. Also in the channel, there's a video that I show five uh, melodic patterns. You can practice that exercise like one, two, three, four. Okay, this melodic patterns with repetition. This is pretty good to improve technique. Or in pentatonic. And here you set goals, okay, for you to improve your technique. You can put like starting on 70 BPM and then once you reach that tempo, you speed it up and go on. Remember, improve technique is not only to improve your speed or make things faster on the guitar, it's for you to get comfortable to play. Most songs, we're gonna be playing around 80 to 120 BPM. If you wanna play 16th notes and 120 BPM in a song, even for a solo, in an improvisation, it can be very fast. For you to play it, and that you can play it comfortably, you need to be a little bit above the speed. If the song is 120 BPM, you need to play a little bit 130, 140 BPM. Then when you're playing with the song, if you're playing live, you're playing Stand Me Up, or just to improvise, then your fingers have the technique to reach that tempo. So 16th notes, 100 BPM, can be a goal. Set some goes on a tempo. That's a good way to improve your technique and you can measure that. You can then practice some triads, some arpeggios. All of these things will be part of your technical skills, all right? Everything that you have your finger moving, even leaks, you can just re repeating many times the leaks, you can improve. All right, that's the first part. I like to break into three parts. It's easy, you have three things to practice. Then you have to practice your creative skills. One more time, it depends on your level. If you're a beginner, if you're starting to learn pentatonic scale, maybe just play around with the pentatonic, like two strings. All right. Or what you can do as well is here, learn solos. You're being learning the style of the guitar player. If you learn a solo from Jimmy Page, and that way you start to recognize some parts of his style and learn vocabulary. And then you can start to apply these things that you learn from one guitar player and from the other guitar player for you to create some solos. Here we start to work things uh, melodically, get the scales and start to play around with the scales, very simple things. Learn vocabulary, you can get a whole solo or if you hear a phrase that you like on the guitar, you just can get that excerpt from that solo and get that little piece and start to practice, make a repetition, and apply on the backing track, all right? Here you start to develop your creativity. And also, don't forget to practice your rhythm skills. Usually, if you are a beginner, you're gonna stick with the patterns, with the strumming. What you can do is to learn a new strumming. You can try to change the strumming of a song. If the song is in one rhythm, one strumming, you can try to change. If the song is a strumming where you play down and up, you can try to do some arpeggio. start to create over it. And strumming also can be part of the technical skill. You can get the song, put in a metronome. Remember that this is something really important. Your rhythm hand, your strumming hand, picking hand, that's your most important hand, okay? That's where you have your tempo, that's where you, you develop a solid rhythm. So concentrate and do exercise just for your strumming hand. If you are more intermediate, you can start to work on your caged system. If you know a song that has C, uh, G, A minor, and F. Start to get these chords and apply in different places. Play the same song, but uh, C, G, A minor, F. Okay, and then play differently.
This is for you to start to develop your harmony skills. Really important to study harmony. If you know the cage, you can start to work with chords with seven. So you can look things that you already know and what's the next step? Oh, I know, I know all the chords in format of triads. Now it's time for you to learn the chords in the seventh. I know the chords in one region. Now it's time for you to get the chords throughout the fretboard. That's why it's a little bit hard for me to tell how to, what you should practice, especially because there are different levels. But look at what you know and try to think what's the next step. How can you play a blues with the chord with the seventh using drop two chords? Get chord progressions and start to apply these concepts. Cage it, drop two chords. Really important that you learn things and you apply it that you can apply on songs. And let me just ask you this because it's pretty good for me to think about on the videos that I'm posting. So put in the comments, what's your favorite genre? If you want to learn more about blues, if you want to learn a little more about rock, just let me know what's your favorite genre of music on the comments. Okay, technical skills, you need to practice arpeggio, scales, like an athlete. That's the part that you work on your physical things. And your creative side, how you use all that scales, how you develop your creativity to be able to improvise, create solos or even composing. And the third thing, repertoire. You need to learn songs. Try to get at least one song per month or every two months, depending on your level, if you're more advanced and depending on the level of the song. According to your level, you can pick up a really hard song that are a song that is above your level and have some songs in the middle. What are the songs that you can build like a ladder that you can just start to go up until you reach the, this song that is hard. If you learn one song per month, which is really good, and by the end of the year, you'll have already 12 new songs. And at the end of the year, if you have 12 new songs, you can measure as well. That's a pretty good measure because now you know 12 more songs. And especially if the songs are making you improve your level. Think about all these little things. Sometimes the next step is not a huge step. Sometimes we wanna measure our improvement and we tend to plan things like from not walking at all and then to running a marathon. We have this gap and sometimes we want to go from the walking to the marathon. And this is really hard and it can frustrate as well. Think about the guitar this way. If you're not walking, just one day walking and then another day walking and then you start to run, then you run one kilometer, five kilometers until you reach the marathon. That's for the guitar as well. It's really important to have big goals. You aim really high and if you start to work, to reach that high goal, even that it takes time, or even if you want to play a really hard song this year, but you're not able to play this year yet, but you did the steps to improve, you'll be much more better than you were before. You will improve. That's the main goal. We always keep improving. So that's the tips. So think about how can you build a study plan. Get three things, technique, take a look at your level, Think about, write down, take a look at things that you already know and what is missing, what you need to learn now. Get this topic, this is also really important. Get the new thing and spend time. If you're learning the major scale, learn the major scale, learn leaks on the major scale, play the major scale in different ways, different applications, then you move to a different one, okay? Sometimes also very common to students, he learns the pentatonic and then just go to the major scale, then just go to minor harmonic scale. The best thing is get the pentatonic and extract what you can from that pentatonic. Play in different ways, different styles, different leaks. How can you get from different guitar players? Look at guitar players that use an, in unusual ways the pentatonics. Think how can you extract a lot from that, then you move to the next step. Technique, then you go to your creative skills, where you practice it according to your level or improvisation, creating some solos. You can just create short solos for you to start to develop your creativity. Work with chords from like Caged for you to start to change the way that you play a song, to, just for you to play around or create arra arrangements and repertoire for you to improve your list of songs. All right, so write down all these things. Think about if you have any question, Put in the comments as well, it'll be happy to help you for you to think about your plan, your guitar study for this year. If you like this video and this was helpful to you, don't forget to hit the like. When you hit the like, you're helping to this video reach more people. And if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, 
subscribe and ring the bell. I'm posting lessons almost every week, okay? Especially for this beginning of 2022. I'm posting videos two weeks, okay? So it'll be fortnightly. And then probably by from February, I will try to get back to the schedule every week, new lesson. And if you wanna help me, leave the comments with topics that I can create videos for you. Thanks for watching, see you next time.